Now let's continue with criterion for similarity of triangles. So what is the criteria for similarity of triangles? As we recap with the definition of similarity of triangles, we have come with the property or the definition that two triangles are similar if their corresponding angles are equal and the corresponding sides are in same ratio. So sometimes we reduce it to the most minimized conditions that if the corresponding angles are equal, then we say that the two triangles are similar. So we have the three types of criterion for similarity of triangles. Similarly, when we have the three angles equal, their corresponding sides are in same ratio. Similarly, when all sides are equal also gives us the understanding that their corresponding angles are equal. So ultimately, the three criterion which are going to consider here will finally lead to the two important factors for defining similarity of triangles. That is, the corresponding angles must be equal and the corresponding sides must be in same ratio is what we conclude from the three different possibilities or the three criterion of for similarity of triangles. So what are these three criterion is what we're going to discuss. The first criterion is triple A and the second is triple S and the third is SAS criterion. So these three criterion will define the similarity of triangles. So therefore, let's see how each of the criterion is defined. To start with, triple A criterion for similarity of triangles. So what does triple A criterion statement says is very important before we understand the proof of triple A criterion. So initially triple A criterion says that if two triangles if two triangles have equal angles that is their corresponding angles are equal have equal angles then the sides opposite to those equal angles the correspondingly equal angles will be in same ratio then the sides opposite to those equal angles will in same ratio and hence because the corresponding angles equal implies the corresponding sides are in same ratio and therefore the two triangles are similar. So we are proving the condition of the corresponding sides being equal in indirectly when the two triangles have their corresponding angles equal is what we are going to prove in this statement. So if I have two triangles with equal angles say for example given two triangles let me say ABC and therefore I have two triangles ABC and DAF such that they have correspondingly equal angles that is angle A equals angle D and angle B equals angle E and angle C equals angle F. So when the corresponding angles are equal then the theorem statement says that the sides opposite to those ang equal angles will be in same ratio. That is, if the side opposite to A is BC and the side opposite to D is EF, which are the sides opposite to equal angles, then BC by EF will be equal to AC by DF equal to AB by DE, which we are going to prove using 
the correspondingly equal angle properties. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is first initially I take the distance AB and cut an arc on the line segment DE such that I get a point P which is exactly equal to AB. Therefore AB equal to DP. Similarly, I take AC and that measurement I take here as DQ so that I get a triangle with this equals this and this equals this. Therefore, if I take these two triangles, I get triangle DPQ and ABC are two triangles such that AB is equal to DP and AC equal to DQ and corresponding angles are equal. So let's derive this and see what we get in comparing these two triangles. So let's see the construction and come with the actual proof of this triple A criterion for similarity of triangles. So to continue with the theorem, now I have few constructions which I need to make here. The construction here is So mark a point on DE such that AB equal to DP and AC equals DQ are such that I get two points P and Q implies P and Q are points on DE and DF respectively therefore join p and q so i join the points p and q so that i get two triangles a b c and d p q correspondingly so using this construction the proof what i have out here is to start with initially i have that angle a equals angle d angle A equals angle D and AB equals AP AP so DP this is D and AEC, AC equals DQ therefore I get AC equals DQ such that I have one angle one side and one more side corresponding equal which implies this is SAS congruency we have already dealt with congruency of triangles where side angle side congruency applies for these two triangles therefore using sas congruency i can say that triangle abc is congruent to triangle dpq using since by sas congruency property we get these two triangles similar. Now when two triangles are congruent, then the corresponding angles and corresponding sides are same. Therefore, this will be equal to this and this will be equal to this. That is angle B equal to angle P and angle C equal to angle Q here. Because these two are congruent, that implies angle B is equal to angle P and angle C equals angle Q as I can see here because of congruency corresponding sides and corresponding angles are respectively equal. Now connecting this we already know that angle B is equal to angle E and angle P angle B equal to angle P and angle B equal to angle E implies angle P is equal to angle E by trans 2 property. So if I just compare angle B which is equal to angle P and angle B is also equal to angle E implies angle B is equal to angle P is equal to angle E is what I get as transitive property. Similarly my angle C is equal to angle Q and my angle C is equal to angle F therefore angle Q is equal to angle F by transitivity. Therefore here my angle C which is equal to angle Q is equal to angle F is what 
I get on the whole using the transitivity property. Now when I take this pair of the equal angles, I clearly see that angle P is equal to angle E implies the corresponding angles are equal or angle Q is equal to angle F implies the corresponding angles are equal. So when corresponding angles are equal, this line must be parallel to this is the property we have in parallel lines. So therefore, angle P equal to angle E and angle Q equal to angle F implies corresponding angles are equal. So when corresponding angles are equal, we have the two lines parallel by parallelity condition. Now, since the corresponding angles are equal, therefore, that implies PQ is parallel to EF in triangle DEF. Now, when these two are parallel, then by basic proportionality theorem, if the line is parallel to the third side, then that parallel line will divide the other two sides in the same ratio is what we have seen in basic proportionality theorem. Therefore, this divides in the same ratio implies that implies dp by pe is equal to dq by qf by basic proportionality theorem is what I get when I divide this by this and this by this. So therefore, I get by basic proportionality theorem dp by p is equal to dq by qf so that on interchanging the numerator and denominator, I can remodify the fraction as pe by dp equally with qf by dq is what I get when I interchange the numerators and denominators maintaining the equality to be same. Now here I have pe which I clearly identify as D, DE minus DP is PE because the whole of DE minus this DP gives me the PE. Therefore, I get this as PE is substituted with DE minus DP by DP is what I get on the left hand side. Similarly, my QF is whole of DF minus DQ gives me QF. Therefore, the fraction of QF is substituted with the whole of df minus dq by dq is what I get when I subtract the line segment de with pe I get this and this respectively. Now this on splitting of fractions that is when I split this separately as de by dp and this as dp by dp because I split the fractions respectively for the first term and the second term. I get this for the left hand side. Similarly on the right hand side, when I split the fraction I get df by dq minus dq by dq. So that this becomes df by dq minus dq by dq is what we get in the fraction. Now here, I can cancel these two because they are equal and therefore this finally reduces to the fraction DE by DP minus 1 equals DF by DQ minus 1 on the right hand side. So that this also gets cancelled and finally I get DE by DP that is equal to df by dq dq so i get here de by dp equals to df by dq is one more way of understanding the corresponding sides being in same ratio because when a line divides the third side parallelly being parallel dp by pe is equal to dq by qf is equally true as dp by de equal to dq by df as a corollary of the extended basic proportionality theorem. So when I got de by dp equal to df by dq, then immediately 
my DP is equal to AB as I have taken these two sides equal. Therefore, in place of DP, I can substitute AB because both the sides are equal. So in place of DP, I get DE by AB because my DP is equal to AB. Similarly, my DQ is equal to AC. Therefore, DQ replaces with AC will be DF by AC is what I get in substitution of the equal segments. Now interchanging the numerators and denominators, let's see what we get continued from there.